Are you worried that your penis has a little bit of a curve? Well, you might have Peyronie's disease. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna to talk to you all about Peyronie's disease or curvature of the penis. Make sure you stick around till the end of this video because I'm gonna tell you about the latest therapies for Peyronie's disease from a paper published as recent as 2020. Peyronie's disease is actually an inflammatory disease that causes a curve in the penis and in some cases can actually cause deformities of the penis and in severe cases erectile dysfunction. It was first described in the 1700s and has been estimated to affect somewhere between 1 to 13 percent of men. Likely it's more than that but a lot of people will not seek care for something because of the embarrassment associated with it. What are the symptoms of Peyronie's disease? Well, you may note that you have a bend in the penis towards one side or the other, up or down, or you may notice that you have a deformity of the penis where it looks kind of like an hourglass. In the early part of Peyronie's disease, you may also notice some pain with erections, and this is during the acute phase. The reason that we think Peyronie's disease happens is that there are micro traumas or injuries to the lining of the penis called the tunica albiginia. And when you have these injuries during intercourse, they then heal. And in some people who are more likely to have inflammatory changes, they actually create plaques in place of regular healing. We see this more commonly in certain people who have a genetic history, maybe a history of Dupuytens contracture or contractures in the fingers and the hand. And how do you treat it? Well, in the acute phase for the pain, we typically recommend taking some non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like Motrin or ibuprofen or Aleve over the counter that can help. Or there is some data to suggest that extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy of the penis can help with specifically pain during that time. None of those things will actually prevent the curvature from happening, but they will help you with the pain that occurs during that time. After about six to 12 months, you will then notice that the pain resolves and you are left with a curvature of the penis. And this is now called the stable phase and where the large majority of the treatment is focused on. For Peyronie's disease, there are both surgical treatments and non-surgical treatments. And the mainstay of non-surgical treatments is typically intralesional injections, meaning that they actually inject the plaque itself with a number of different medications. The three medications that are most often used include collagenase, interferon alpha-2b, and verapamil. And these medications, the large majority of them, the side effects include bleeding, swelling, pain at the injection site, and depending on the medication, there are some variety in side effects that you might experience. The one thing to be aware of is there is a very small risk of what we call corporal rupture, which is essentially a fracture of the penis. This is a surgical emergency and you need to come to the emergency room if that does happen. Also, the initial data on these injections shows about a 17 degree improvement in the curvature after getting the injections. The curvature is measured based on the straight penis as being zero degrees. If your curvature is more severe, there are surgical options as well. There are surgical options called plications where you actually take the penis on the side opposite of the plaque and you put these little stitches on that side to help straighten the penis or there are excision and grafting so you actually cut out the plaque and graft it with some tissue so that you can straighten the curvature that way. Interestingly, in 2020, a paper came out looking at traction therapy in Peyronie's disease. And what they did was they took men with Peyronie's disease and they randomized them to receive traction therapy using a device called Restorex for either 30 minutes a day for three months, 60 minutes a day for three months, or 90 minutes a day for three months. And they checked how this improved their curvature, their erectile function, and the length of their penis. Interestingly, they found that even at 30 minutes a day, traction therapy improved the curvature by about 18 to 22 percent and increased the length of the penis by 2 to 2.3 centimeters. And generally speaking, most people weren't really too bothered by using it. There was some little bit of discomfort and sometimes some redness from the device itself. Overall, patients seem to have no problems using the therapy. So this is a really promising option for patients with Peyronie's disease, and I really hope that if you are suffering from it, it's something that you can try. I will link the paper down below as well as the device, so if you're interested, you can check it out. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.